what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing a little test with the cadillac escalade you can see i got her here back in the woods right now it's snowing i don't know if you can see that or not on camera but it's starting to snow yesterday we got a bunch of rain rain like all day it was pretty hard rain so it's pretty muddy back here. So I'm finally gonna test how well this Cadillac all-wheel drive system works in some pretty slick conditions, mostly mud today. So yeah, like I said in one of my previous videos, this transmission is similar to a four-wheel drive, but not exactly the same. It's always active, so it can give anywhere from 5% power to 40%, I'm pretty sure, to the front. So we're gonna be seeing how well that does. It's snowing pretty good now and the ground's really wet. So we're gonna see how well it does getting up through here. Kinda of hard to tell on camera, but it's a nice little hill that goes up and it's slanted down that way. So we'll see how well it does. This Escalade does have a G80 locker in the rear. So whenever one of these back wheels start sliding or slipping the other one locks up if you're curious if your vehicle has the g80 all you have to do is come in the glove box and look at the glove box code it's an alphabetical order starting at the top but you see where the g's start and then over here the far left right here that one says G80. That just means I got the locking differential. So we're gonna test today if it works or not. So we're gonna start right here. All right, this is where it's gonna start getting slippery.
dug a nice little hole here. Both backs were definitely spinning. Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm gonna try to just uh, get out of here now without using the winch. Well, it looks like I have a chance to use the winch. I don't want to give it any more gas because uh, I might end up sliding into that little guy there. So I'm just going to use the winch. I didn't realize how big of a hole I dug there. So it looks like one, two, three, all four were spinning at one point. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look back at the camera or at the footage. But I know this side wasn't spinning that much. It was mostly that side, so at least you guys got to see that. But both back tires were pretty much spinning at the same speed. But time to use the winch. This is gonna be a good test for this 9,000 pound bad la Badland winch, because I haven't used it since I bought it. So if I was out in the middle of nowhere right now, in the woods stuck, We'll be able to see if this Badland Witch winch can do the job. Because this is a pretty, pretty steep hill actually. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, like always, but I could get out of here, but I would risk damaging the Escalade if I don't use the winch. So let's see if this sucker works. See if it works. Plenty of line or wire to get up to that big tree up there. I'm gonna turn on the Escalade and hopefully drive out of here. I'm gonna put it in drive. Turn the wheel to, all the way to the right. I don't know what that sound is. Looks like it's doing great. Give it a give it a break. That noise started happening ever since my AC condenser went bad. I wonder if it has something to do with that. I'm just gonna keep going a little bit further. All right guys, so I was having a hard time. My battery died. Having a hard time since my tires are so caked up with mud. They're still full of air. Might just uh, let some air out. I didn't want to do that, but I have to. I was having a hard time backing out. So I'm just gonna try to back that way now and then just drive out. Um, drive out the way I came in and then I can use my winch on the front to help me get out if I need it. All right guys, so I finally got out of there. Uh, all I had to do was air down my back tires a little bit and I pretty much stopped sliding all together. And I turned it around just because I was having a hard time backing out of here. I kept sliding down towards those trees. 
So I just used the winch to pull me up to there and then I backed into there and then just drove right on out of here. Seemed to be like my best option. I didn't want to air down my tires because making, having the full tires full of air makes a good all-wheel drive test, makes it um, slippier, but I, I actually ended up getting stuck stuck. So then I had to air down a little bit and it, it definitely helped a lot. I was tired of messing around with the winch, but yeah, we got it out, no problem. Should be some pretty decent footage. I was giving it a good bit of, I was trying to get it stuck right here and I was giving it a good bit of gas. So we'll see how it all looks on camera. Should be pretty cool. But yeah guys, the winch, the bad land, 9,000 pound winch worked great. If I wouldn't have had that, I don't know, getting unstuck would have been 10 times harder. So I really love that thing. It's coming handy once already. Got the Escalade pretty muddy. But she did good. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, little all-wheel drive test for the Escalade. I haven't seen too many videos out there like it, so be interesting to me to see how well or how the front wheels spin or how much power was going to them. So I'll look at all that here in a minute. But yeah, guys, do me a favor and drop a big thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it and it helps the video reach a wider audience. And if you guys aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on the future videos. And that's it, guys. Hope you have a great day. Peace.